Okay, there we go. Hi, my name is Miracle. I attend Northwest High School. Cheers, Give me a rhyme. You sound white. Now that I think about it, you act white too. What percent white are you? Actually, I'm 100% black. I don't have another ethnicity's blood running through my veins. I'm black. I have the Capri Sun and the Kool-Aid from the picnics and the family reunions piercing through my body. Then why do you talk like that? You mean talk properly? I'm sorry, but that's the way I was raised. I don't go around singing inappropriate grammar. You feel me, dog? That's spelled D-O-G. I mean D-A-W-G-G. My bad. But... I wake up to go to a school that at times I hate because I have to sit next to kids who pass hate back and forth. Like, I'm not sitting right there. They don't see me because I'm a joke to them. I sit in classrooms where I have to sit in between people who talk, to, talk bad about me and tell me I'm not good enough. No, I'm not black enough. I grew up in the hood across from the projects where gunshots lay at the sky like stars. <sighs> I'm sorry. I grew up in the projects where gunshots lay at the sky like stars, but they wouldn't know that because I'm built white like black people are built with guns in their hands. I got out the ghetto and y'all judge me for that. But you don't know why. You wouldn't want to stay in the same house that your mom died in either, I'm sure. Y'all judge me based on the way I talk because I don't talk ghetto. I don't go around selling cars with y'all or selling drugs with y'all or talking like I wasn't raised right with y'all, so I have to be white. <laughs> You will not tell me what I am or what I can't be because I'm black. No, I'm sorry, because I'm white. Stereotypes have been taken to level two. You, base, you don't base your judgment on me by my skin anymore. So you think that for some reason you're better now and that you have risen up from the ashes and you're not racist now. I can't be smart because I'm not white. I have to make my living off of a hood rat. But I'm sorry, which one is it? Be the best black woman I can be and prove that we are more than just gangs and drugs or do I fall into the stereotype and come, become pregnant before I graduate? Well, let me tell you something. I will walk across that stage with my cap and my gown and I will not have a belly. I'm a flower that can rise from the forest fires and I will grow from those ashes. But yet, a line I hear very often is, you're pretty for a black girl. If I'm the so-called white girl you called me, would I be pretty for a white girl or would I just be pretty? The last time I checked, I didn't think that was a compliment. You don't see me, I'm just another confused girl you can put into a box, close and seal, no questions asked, goodbye. Black Lives Matter, you say? Black Yes Minds doesn't.